Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to be tackling the shifter part of this MR2 swap. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make my own shifter bracket. Um, instead of buying the um, $90, $100 bracket that they sell. Um, just because I can, I think I can make one um, with scrap metal I have from around here and then have it my own. So, let's start. Um, first thing I, I did was I cut off this counterweight off of the trans bracket, the trans shifter assembly here. Um, I like to put it back on somewhere else, but I got to figure out a way to. But for now, I'm just going to um, leave it off for now and then try to fab up a bracket to hold the, the stock RSX shifter box. So let's get started. Okay, first of all, the first thing you want to do is um, locate your, your shifter cable and put it on where you think it should go. Um, I have mine like that. That's where it's going to go. What I did with mine is I took my original bracket and cut off the mounting slot. If you can see, I don't know if you can see that, but I, I cut that off and then I located it back onto the cable. And then um, what you really need to do is find a measurement from this, this plate to this and then have a, a center for, for your, your mounting location. So what you really need to do is put your shifter in the neutral position, just kind of where you think it should be, um, center. And then even this, if you see here, there's two pins. If you move it one way or the other, it, it shows you where it, it, it should be in center. Once that's pretty much centered, what you want to do is measure from from here to here, just a common point, and then get a measurement so you know where where this this shift linkage should be centered. So what I got in mind is for this this cable from here to here, the face of this to this this tab, it's around five inches. And then uh, on this one, it's five and I think three eighths from here to here. So that's where I'm gonna base off my bracket that I'm gonna make. I think I'm gonna make a bracket off of this mounting bracket here and then maybe reinforce it with a, a tab that comes out and, and support it. But uh, that's where I'm starting. So let me go to the next step. Okay, I found some solid rod stock that I had laying around. And what I'm going to do is, I'm going to, I already bent one section here, and I'm going to weld it at that base there, and then attach it to here. So let me uh, get it vice gripped up so you can see what it looks like. And then um, if you look, I bent it right there, and then up here, just a very slight, but um, let me get that, let me get that on so you can see what it looks like. Now, as you can see, I just have it vice gripped on there. I didn't tack weld it yet. But what, what eventually is going to happen is if you see, I'm going to weld it in place. I'm going to make some measurement, make sure it's, it's close to where it needs to be, and then make sure the shifter box is still centered. And then I'll tack weld it. And then, um, and then we'll start with the date, another bracket. All right, I got this piece lined up, vice gripped up, and just making sure that it's straight so you have a nice, you know, solid shift um, that your cable is not going to bind up. But that's where this cable is going to be. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure the face of that. To that, so I don't know if it'll focus, but my measurements my measurements a little bit off, so I gotta bend it a little more to get it to where it needs to be. But um, it's a start. Okay, if I adjusted the bracket back, that it's the measurements that I want from here to here, and then now I'm just gonna grab my welder and 
Tack it up. All right, I got my my welder on, and let's tack this up. All right, guys, I have this tacked. Sorry, it's not the best looking tack because I was trying to record in one hand and tack in the other. But you get the idea. And then um, I'm probably have to gonna make some kind of support, maybe a rod that that comes out the bottom of this and goes to over here, just so that you know I don't it doesn't deflect when I'm shifting. But but that's kind of the idea I'm going for. And then um, just mark. I want to mark it here. Cut it with my porta band, and then we'll go to the next next bend. All right, guys. I just put a a bead of weld on it, so it really doesn't. It's not gonna move on me. But that's what it looks like. Got that cut off. Um, I guess now is the second cable. So same process. Get it on, kind of see where it needs to be. Make sure that it's at the neutral position on your shifter box. And then I'm gonna bend up another rod. Um, I will show you how I bend my, my, my rod. It's pretty simple, nothing special. I just have it in my vise. Um, I marked it where it needs to be bent. Um, put a square on it so make sure it's straight. And then what I usually just use the hammer and Beat it until it bends, so let me bend it and I'll show you the result. Alright, after hitting it with a hammer a few times, rod bends, and we'll take it back and then check to make sure it's the right angle I need. Um, I was going to bend like a 90, but I think I don't need it quite a 90, maybe like a 75 degree bend. But I'll start here and then I'll mock it up and see what it looks like. Okay guys, with this second bracket, what I kind of want is I'm going to weld it to the bottom of this and then weld it to this over here. So I got to just figure out the right angle and then uh, get some bends in there, some cuts, and then it should be ready to be welded on. Let me get that done and I'll show you my result. All right, guys, as you can see, uh, my bend's a little bit off. I bent it a little bit too much, but you get the idea. This This piece... Is gonna get welded to that and then that's gonna get welded to there and then that's pretty much how it's gonna hold the shifter up all right guys I have the shifter pretty much where I wanted it measurements good everything's pretty centered on the shifter itself I uh, just made a, a small tack there and attack down here so I can take my vice grip out and it should stay in place. Now I'm just gonna finish welding it the the two the two brace and then I'm gonna make some more bracing across the the bottom and then we'll see how solid it is. Alright guys got that welded on there and then that welded underneath there it's kinda hard to focus but that should be where the cable is going to sit. Um, I think I'm going to make a, a bracket off of these bolts. I know some people make a metal bracket off of here, but um, this is the way I'm, I'm going to make mine. And then I think I'm going to run some more rods from there to there to support it so it's nice and solid. And it should work for what I need it to be. Um, and I know it saved me a couple of dollars making it myself from scrap metal instead of spending, you know, $90, I think they are, from Hux Racing and, and shipping and whatever tax. So I think for a couple bucks, it's pretty simple to make one. But let me get some more brackets together and I'll show you the result. All right, guys, I just noticed there's a, 
a bracket here that's a metal bracket for this clutch line. What I'm thinking I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna take that off and then base my other um, rod from there to there because it's already there and it's metal. And then I can just weld right to that. And then if I ever wanted to take this off, I can just unbolt it and it will all come off as one piece. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. You see there's a metal bracket there. And then we'll get some some pieces on. All right guys, I've just bent that bracket. Um, welded it right there to that bracket. You can see I just took the line off, but the line sits right there so I can put a little clip back on it, paint it, and then it should be good to go. Um, the support, I welded it there, just tack, tacked there. Um, it's gonna be pretty solid once I get all the, the support in, so I think it should work pretty good. So let me get some more welds and bend some more brackets up and then I'll show you the finished result. All right guys, I got pretty much everything welded up. I made a gusset from here to there, one to there, added this one to that tab, and it's pretty sturdy. Um, I did mess up a little bit on, on this one up here. I had it back too far and I couldn't get it in reverse, but um, I cut it off, rewelded it in a little more, and now, now all the gear works. So I'm gonna show you here. Goes in all the gears, reverse. First, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, and reverse. All works. So I'm gonna do some more welding, maybe put some paint on it and call it done. And if, if I feel that in the future it's moving too much or it has too much sway, I can always add more support, but um, but here it is, pretty much in a nutshell of what I made. Well guys, um, hopefully this video helps you with building a one of these shifter bracket instead of buying one. Um, if you have the, the means to. Um, if not, you can always buy it. You know, it's not that much money, but I think it's a little fun little project to do. And I think I have maybe eight bucks in into this. I actually had some rod left over, but I ran out, so I had to go out and buy a new stick, which is, it was seven forty nine at Tractor Supply. So I think you can overall, some time, Eight dollars, you can have uh, a shifter bracket, and then. But other than that, everything works. And if if you like this video, uh, feel free to comment, share, and subscribe. Um, I will be updating my channel with more videos as as uh, time pro progress. But uh, hope you enjoyed it. Thanks, guys. Have a good one.